One bleak February morning, as the depression stretched into its fourth year, a curious sculpture, the giant amputated hand of a woman, appeared on the west side of Madison Square. Part of a towering statue the French hoped to present as a gift to the American people, if New Yorkers would simply pay for the pedestal. But New Yorkers refused. No true patriot, the New York Times declared, can support expenditures for a bronze female in the present state of our finances. For five years, the huge upraised hand stood on Fifth Avenue, an embarrassment, one newspaper complained, to nursemaids and mothers, unable to explain to their young charges what the surreal sculpture, with its eight-foot index finger and 12-inch nails, was doing there. Down along the East River, meanwhile, work on the Brooklyn Bridge ground on, with no end in sight. Battered by financial troubles, strikes, political corruption, and a series of nightmarish accidents. For seven years, Washington Roebling had struggled to keep the immense project on track without the aid of his father. Supervising work on the foundations, deep beneath the riverbed, the chief engineer himself had been stricken by a mysterious new affliction called Quezon's disease, or the bends, and hadn't been seen at the site for years. But still the work went on, Roebling monitoring progress through binoculars from his bedroom window, and relaying instructions to the construction site through his wife Emily, who had taken over day-to-day -day supervision of the project. Slowly, the gaunt stone towers rose above the troubled metropolis, bringing an entirely new scale to the two cities. Rising above the rooftops like visitors from another planet, the 120 million pound structures were the most massive man-made objects on the North American continent. On a cold, windy morning in January 1876, in the very heart of the Depression, a photographer named Joshua Beale wrestled his cumbersome equipment up 30 flights of stairs, then stepped out onto an open platform atop the recently completed Brooklyn Tower and set to work, carefully exposing five glass plate negatives to form a single giant photograph more than seven feet long. The breathtaking panoramic image showed New Yorkers the city as they had never seen it before, a city that had grown too vast to be grasped or understood in conventional terms. No longer simply a city, but a teeming, unknowable metropolis. Far as the eye can reach, it stretches away. This is not even a city, in the sense in which we understand the word. Seen from here, it is so colossal. It encloses so formidable an accumulation of human efforts as to overpass the bounds of imagination.